Hello guys and welcome to another episode of South Park Phone Destroyer. Today, I want to do a little comparison. South Park Phone Destroyer versus Clash Royale. I've played Clash Royale for uh, about a year now. And it, it's a good game. A lot of people play it. It gets uh, frequent updates. And the reason why I'm comparing it to South Park is because they're similar in many ways, but also they're very different. Oh, sorry. My throat's a little dry today. I had to get a sip. Alright, so where I wanted to start out, let's start out with the deck builder. So in Clash Royale, when you upgrade your cards, you have to get a specific amount of cards, such as you need 200 of this card to upgrade. In South Park, it's similar, but it is different. So for instance, let's see here. We have Kyle. Right below card stats is shows card upgrades 4 out of 5 I need to upgrade this card 5 times and then have 5 of Gunslinger Kyle cards right now I have 7 of 5 and I've upgraded it 4 out of 5 and that's to level your card up and I'll show you here so we'll upgrade one time and now it says max upgrade limit reach. Collect copies of this card to level it up and increase the max limit upgrade limit. Alright, so card upgrade 5 out of 5. I have 7 cards and I need, only needed 5. So we'll level it up. Bam! Just like that. And that's how the upgrade's different. So we'll back out of here. Also, while we're here, there's different classes of card. Well, different themes of cards. As you can see, you got the blue hat. Whoops, you got the blue hat, and then you got the robot. And in South Park, you can only ha have two class, two themes equipped at a time. And for another huge difference, in South Park you have an avatar, which is awesome. It allows you to create your own kid. Here's my kid. He's pretty ugly, but I like him. You can go male, female. You can change his brows, change his eyes, change his mouth. Give him some detail if you want. Which I don't have any detail. You can put some glasses on them. All the way down to hair. Facial hair. And his clothing. You can put clothing on them. I'll show you what the clothing looks like this is what I have equipped right now just slide that over change it up a little bit depending on you how you feel that day just like that also custom colors Which is awesome. Clash Royale does not have anything like this. I mean, it is a card battle playing game. Somebody's got to be throwing the cards out, so why don't they have an avatar? I mean, it only makes sense.
when it comes to the PvP, there is a lot of similarities. Um, so, with uh, PvP, you have your arenas. These arenas unlock at different uh, levels that you are. And your levels are created by how many wins you get. You need three wins in that level to go to the next level. And with Clash Royale, it's about crowns. You have to get so many crowns to go to the next level. And both games, the higher level you are, the, the packs change. They vary in how much they give you at during each pack. With uh, Clash Royale, you get the chance to unlock one free pack a day, which requires 10 crowns. In South Park Phone Destroyer, you can unlock six different packs a day. The refresh now, that that's your PvP pack, and once you un open it up, the timer starts for four hours so every four hours you could get a new pack for free which is great when it comes to the chat it's really similar to Clash Royale you got your chat you can donate cards as right now you can't see which card they're requesting um, you got your chat, you got your top donators, it's pretty cool that they show their avatar up here. Um, in Clash Royale, all of this is pretty much hidden besides the chat. The chat and requesting cards. You get to see all that, but to see any more information on how much cards they have donated you'd have to click on their individual names here it's lined up for you with a ranking system also in South Park's PvP they have their own PvP shop which this is different than the other shop too and these items reset every 20 24 hours so that's awesome Clash Royale, they have the same thing, but they only have one shop. They have a shop that changes every 24 hours, but it's just one. And I'll back out of here, and I'll show you the second shop. It's the Daily Shop. Bienvenidos. This is the Daily Shop. It uh, has a free pack every four hours different cards as you can tell you use Cartman coins with uh, Clash Royale you use your gold that you earned to uh, buy your cards here you use Cartman coins um, they also have your your packs that you can buy for cash your Cartman coins and then real money pretty similar to Clash Royale and this shop updates every 24 hours too so that's your second shop Clash Royale and South Park Phone Destroyer, Destroyer they both have achievements um one thing that South Park Phone Destroyer does not have is daily quests. Um, Clash Royale just launched an update not too long ago where you get daily, daily quests to complete, which can give you extra cards, more gold, and such. Oh, let's go into a battle here.
So the only type of battling you can do right now in PvP for South Park is single player. Um, they don't have it available to where you can have two people battle at the same time like Clash Royale. Um, if you win, you get a point. You get a point towards your rank. If you lose, you lose a point. Which, Clash Royale, it is more along the crowns. You win crowns, you lose crowns. You have to get crowns to go to the next stage. It's pretty similar, just different concepts. Another difference is with South Park Phone Destroyer, you're more along a ground view. Clash Royale, your bird eye view, which is a lot different. Um, I like this view because you get. It makes you feel more like you're involved with the game rather than looking at it from a blimp, if you know what I'm saying. Characters, they all have their own special moves. As you can tell, Kyle, he shot up a, a bullet up in the air and that gave his team. Uh, what's Kyle do? I believe Kyle gives it, their team extra strength for so many seconds. Here, if you just seen the Wendy get blown away, that is due to if you take down one of their tiers, your player, he shoots off an electric charge and blasts everybody away so you can't continue. And I lost. That sucks. Oh well. Nice. While playing, they uh, they also have your emojis that you can send. They're limited. Uh, there's no chat. Which is the same for Clash Royale. They, they don't allow you to chat. Um, in their most recent update, they added to where you can chat at the end of the game. I don't get it here. Everybody's using this Memsy guy again. He's a real pain. show you those emojis. There you go. There's also a limit to where you can place your people. Uh, it's this half court line here. You can only place them up to there. They are able to get past. And let's go back to the tiers I was talking about. You have three tiers in Clash Royale. You have three towers. Um, in Clash Royale, after you destroy a tower, you... You can continue just moving forward to continue attacking the tower. The charge in South Park that is put off, it actually basically kills everybody that's attacking the tower unless their health is extremely high. Reincarnation better be sweet. I'm going to stomp you into mud. You are able to put characters left, center, and right. So depending on what advantage you may have, it could help you out in placing your character. 
Ollie, want a cracker? Now. I haven't seen that one. It's so fun to play dress up. Yeah. I won't give in. Give me power. Yeah, we were doing really well. Oh. He's almost dead, guys. Looks like one more throw from Big Gay Al. And it's a victory. Oh, that's nice of him. He told me a good game. Let's make up for the loss. So, now that we won, we get to open lockers. You get to open three lockers. Your best loot is shown on the left. And we got a card. Sweet. If you want to unlock an additional locker, you got to pay $2. At the end of every match, it shows you the cards that you are able to upgrade. Alright. Now. For the biggest difference. And this is what I truly, truly think makes the game better than Clash Royale. Not taking anything away from Clash Royale but South Park has a story mode the story mode is similar to PvP but it's, it's a story you're not playing against anybody you're playing against a computer and it tells the story of all the South Park characters and them battling against you as being the new kid. How are you? You place your characters down. They continue moving to the right, taking out anybody that's in their path. And along with the story mode is the characters are all in a group chat. And in the interface of story mode, ooh, that's not good. You're able to actually go back through and reread all the messages sent through from one person to another. I think the story mode is a great aspect of the game. It gives you something else to do. That is, if you're not into the whole PvP. Which I don't know why you wouldn't be. Bzz. You're getting pretty close to my cyborg command center. But I haven't even started to use my most powerful cards yet. Bzz. And he's throwing out program stand. I think with South Park Fun Destroyer that there's a lot more playability, more things for players as you and I to do while playing the game rather than always continuously competing in PvP over and over and over again. And also after you win in story mode, you get to unlock lockers.
And here's your story. Nice. So just a little more of the interface and go to messages, read your group chats, gives you an overview of the story that's been going on. You get to see your stats, takes you to Facebook. Takes you to their Twitter. You got your settings. So, my final comments on this Clash Royale and South Park Phone Destroyer. I don't want to take anything from Clash Royale because it's been around for a while and it's still one of the top games on the app stores but I think South Park Phone Destroyer gives Clash Royale its run for its money um, between the PvP style the story mode and how, how much free stuff you get continuously I believe South Park Phone Destroyer is a lot better If you guys agree or disagree or would like to share your comments or your thoughts, leave me a message below. I'll be sure to reply. I'd love to hear from anybody. And that's it for this comparison. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode. See ya!